All right, so today I will be reviewing the Credit One Bank American Express card. I will be talking about all the benefits and drawbacks of having this card. By the end of this video, you'll be able to decide if this card is right for you. Also, I will in this video talk about other Credit One credit cards. And if you are a card holder already with one of these cards, either the Visa, MasterCard, or American Express, I encourage you to watch this video because I'm sure you're gonna learn something you didn't know about Credit One, and I have some tips on how you can save money with payments and uh, fees. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, learn about how you can save a little extra money. I have a very important update on this credit card offer, something that just changed a month ago. So this is current information on why the American Express Credit One card might be a really good fit for you. Now, I found doing this video that I learned a lot and it's not quite clear if it is the best card, the American Express version, because you can see this chart right here. This is what the different cards, most of the Credit One cards, what they charge with annual fees. You can see by this chart that there is an annual fee for the Credit One Amex card and that there are other Credit One credit cards that have no annual fee. So by this, you might thinking that one of these other Credit One cards could be better, but when we get into this video, I'm going to talk about that and how that, enti that might not be your best route at all. So as you can see, this American Express card does have an annual fee. I will talk about that and what you can do about it and whether or not you can have that fee waived and how that works. So you know this video is not sponsored. I do not have any arrangement with Credit One. I do have a website where I do have links that can help support the channel and it is a type of system where you can compare different credit cards and Credit One is oftentimes one of those but it's all up to you. It's, this is my viewpoints on this credit card. Whether or not it's right for you ultimately is your decision. Right now I do not have a review article on it. The very next review I will post on my website will be for the Credit One Bank American Express card. You can, will find the link in the description if I finished it or you can always visit creditfast.com and type in Credit One Bank American Express card and it will come up. I know that there's going to be people watching this video that really dislike Credit One. I can understand that, but the purpose of doing this video is to bring out all the things about Credit One so that a person can make their decision for themselves on whether they want to get any Credit One credit card. And that is my goal today. It's about informing people about credit card offers. If you dislike Credit One and you want a unsecured credit card with no fees, the last video I did, I talked just about that. If you would like to learn about different ways to build your credit with no fees, check out that video. But for some people, Credit One has been a key component in helping them build or rebuild their credit. And from that, I don't highly recommend them, but at the end of the day, if it's going to help you increase your credit score and get to the next level, it does serve a purpose. Let's talk about this American Express card issued by Credit One. Okay, so the minimum credit limit with this card is $300. So that leads me to believe that you don't need the strongest credit score in order to get approved for this offer. This card is marketed as a credit card for fair credit, but I do believe if you have I do believe if you're still in the bad credit category but you're 
very you're getting close to fair credit you'll probably get approved for this card too but if you have absolutely horrible credit right now this would be a very difficult credit card to get approved for but what you can do is visit credit one and there is a pre-qualification application when you are on the page for the credit one bank american express card you can fill that all out and if you have uh, good enough credit it will tell you whether or not you can get this credit card and i'm going to tell you this and i tell people about every time they go to one of these pre-qualification pages on any credit card company's website they are very close to being accurate but they are not 100 percent but what this does is it allows you to see if you're pre-qualified with the soft credit inquiry and if you go forward and fill out the full application then you do get a hard credit inquiry one thing i want people to understand in this review video is that i did a lot of research i wanted to see if i could tell you something that you're not going to find anywhere else so i in fact called credit one and i asked a series of questions questions that you may want the answers to and questions you may not have even thought of asking i want to say that i did call their customer service and i have heard in the past that a lot of people really really hate it and uh, i didn't have a bad experience i wouldn't say i had an excellent experience but what i did was i asked a series of questions I got the answers and I went back and I asked them again just to make sure I had absolute clarification that what I am telling you right now is correct. I feel that it should be correct, but I more than anything recommend that you do further research on this card or any credit card that you want to apply for just to make sure you have an understanding exactly what the, the terms are. With, okay, so with the Credit One MX card, you're not getting all the benefits that you do with the traditional American Express card, but it's really surprising what you do get. These are benefits that you don't get with any of the other Credit One credit cards. So these features may be interesting to you and important, but at the same time, I do not see that it is recognized the same as having a typical American Express card. It's not something that I think that the their system even recognizes so if you later apply for an American Express card from the website I do not think that they're really going to take consideration of this account only that if you have on-time credit history that is going to help increase your credit score and that's how it's going to help you get a card one thing that people get wrong about American Express cards are they think you have to have very good to excellent credit in, in order to have one. And in fact, that is not really the case. Uh, there are cards like the American Express green card. This is a card that I have myself. I did a review video on it. And at the time of applying, I had fair credit, close to good credit. I didn't quite have good credit yet. And I was able to get approved for this credit card. So if you want an American Express card and you think this is the only way that you can go about getting it now, I would say if you wait six months or so and increase your credit score a little bit higher, you probably could get approved for the American Express green card or another offer from them just with just going up a few points in your credit score. Just like with Credit One, you can go to American Express and they do have a pre-qualification part of their website where you can type in your information and with no hard credit inquiry, they can let you know if you would qualify for any of their credit cards now. So if you are trying to get an American Express card, this is one way you can go about it. Don't forget, if you find value in this video, please like it. And if you think it could help a friend, please share it. If you want to see my upcoming videos where I review credit cards, just like I am doing right now, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification and you'll be notified of my newest videos. 
So if you're looking for a credit card with no foreign transaction fees, this is not it. They will charge you $1 or 3%, whichever is greater. This is a lot of money when you consider if you're just making a small purchase. If you buy a coffee, a cup of coffee somewhere, and you make this charge, you will essentially be charged for the cup of coffee plus $1. So this is not the card to be taking on a vacation overseas. Now, the card that would be probably the best for you would be a Capital One credit card, and any Capital One credit card does not charge foreign transaction fees. If you're interested in trying to get a Capital One card, and they do have offers that help people build credit, rebuild their credit, you can go to Capital One's website and they have also a pre-qualification page that can help you find a credit card without getting a hard credit inquiry on your report. You'll have a good idea if you can get one of these cards. So the interesting thing about this credit card is that it has a credit card protection plan that charges you 96 cents for every $100 that you charge which is kind of crazy when you think of that a lot of the rewards you're going to earn will only be 1%, so that basically negates your cashback rewards. But it's out there if you want it. So basically what this American Express Credit One credit card has that the other cards don't have is Amex offers. So in order to be a part of this, you need to enroll in the program, and then what you need to do is simply find offers, then you add your offers, and then you use your enrolled card to pay. It's that simple. You'll get a lot of key benefits that other credit cards for less than perfect credit frankly don't offer. So this is one of the reasons why this annual fee isn't so bad. And also that if you are interested in concert tickets, you get the same access as with other American Express cards. So one strategy here is that people that really like these type of events, you're able to have this card solely to buy these special ticket offers. So this is one reason people may have this card and hold on to this card. In the past, I have reviewed the Credit One Visa card and I have also talked once time before about this American Express Credit One credit card. If you want to see these videos, uh, the links for them will be in the description below. Okay, so if you want to learn even more about the Credit One Bank American Express card, check out the review from the Credit Shifu. I put a link to it in the description of this video. So what do I think about this credit card? Well, I think it's okay. Um, one thing you need to consider is that if you can get approved for this Credit One Bank card, you could probably get approved for other uh, credit cards with lower fees. So you want to be mindful of what your credit score is and that maybe you can find a better deal. And, um, but ultimately, if you have a few lines of credit, one, two, or three, you might actually, regardless of the fees I've talked about, you may want to get this card to help you build your credit score faster, because that's what I talk about, credit fast. And the fees that you might be paying can, in the long run, help you build a higher credit score sooner. So it's not a horrible idea to get this card. Just make sure you understand your options with what's available today. Since I'm all about telling you things that you may just may not know, another um, way to get these special offers are not only through the Credit One Bank American Express card, but you can get it through the Serve and the Bluebird card as well. These are prepaid cards. So that could be an option that works better for you. Okay, so this is an interesting thing about the annual fee, and that is that you will be charged an annual fee the first year, and the question you have is, can I get that fee waived the next year? And potentially you can, but there is a trick to it, and it is kind of something you need to know because it might impact you the next year. If on the second year you call up and you request to have your annual fee removed, 
they can remove it if your credit score is high enough and you have a good payment history with this credit card. But you have to, and this is the really interesting part of it, you have to call every year to request that your annual fee is removed. This is the only credit card I've ever heard of this happening with, but you have to call yearly and as long as your credit standing is good with the company and your credit score is high enough, they will remove that fee every year. The um, cash back rewards is different than with, say, with a card like the Quicksilver card, because I have that card and when you're building your cash back balance, there's like a little account that just starts building up your cash back rewards and you're free to use them at any time. You can use them as a statement credit or if you want to get a, I believe they'll, they'll issue a check if you want actual cash back, you can do that. But this card works a little differently. It works much like the Target Red card, which is they give you a um, almost like a discount. So you're not building up cash back in a bank. Whatever you earn in cash back gets applied to your statement every month. So it's something that you don't, it's something that gets applied right away. And you can think of it in this way, you never have to worry that your rewards could potentially expire. This can actually be a good thing because with some credit cards, the credit card rewards eventually expire. There are of course other cashback cards like the Capital One Quicksilver card where those rewards will not expire, but there are a lot of credit cards there, either if it's cashback rewards or some kind of other rewards, you have to be mindful and careful that the rewards you have earned don't expire. So is there a charge for requesting a credit line increase? No, there is not. So is there a charge for requesting a credit line increase? Yes, there is. Okay, so I said there was a big update with the Credit One Bank American Express card and it is a big update. They are now offering 5% cash back in some categories. These categories over here, you will get 5% cash back. And like I said before, that 5% is applied towards your next credit card statement. That's how that works. And if you are making purchases outside those categories, then you will earn the 1%. So that was one of the um, arguments that you've seen in the other reviews on this credit card saying that you get a meager 1% cash back but now it is more than just 1%, so this is another reason you might want to consider this credit card. So with this Amex Credit One card, your annual fee is $39, nothing else. But the surprising thing that a lot of people don't know is that, and I asked, like I said, I asked questions and I asked this question. Remember earlier in this video, I showed you the annual fee chart for most Credit One bank credit cards, and I showed that the American Express Credit One card had a $39 annual fee and then there were other Credit One bank credit cards that had no annual fee. So then automatically it appeared that those cards could be better because they had no annual fee. Well, not everything appears the way it looks because the interesting thing is those cards with no annual fees have maintenance fees charged every month. So you're going to be charged each, each month for having this card, which ultimately adds up to be an annual fee, in essence, higher than that $39 you're paying for the American Express card. And remember when I said before, you could pay that annual fee the first year, and then the, the second, and then every year after, you can call up and request to have that fee removed, and that could happen. So this is why I think ultimately this Credit One Bank American Express card is better than all the other Credit One Bank cards because you can have a lower fees, like lower, um, because you can avoid maintenance fees and after the second, third, fourth year have no annual fee and at the same time have access to Amex offers and get all those benefits that the other Credit One Bank credit cards don't have. So, I'm going to say, out of all the Credit One Bank credit cards, if you had to have one, if you really had to have one, this one would be the best card. There are a lot 
of benefits like car rental insurance that you get with this card that many other credit cards for less than perfect credit, fair credit, will not offer you. Okay, so this is some really important information. Like I told you, this is important information when you're making a payment, no matter which credit one bank credit card you have. So if you currently have one and you don't like the fact that they are charging you interest from day one, they start compounding interest as soon as you charge. Well, I have something that's going to help you and you can apply this to any of the credit one bank cards that you may have. Um, when you're making a payment, you can only make a payment for whatever your amount of your bill is. So if you bought something for $5, you can only make a payment for $5 online. But if you have paper statements mailed to your home, you, and this is the tip, you can actually write a check. Say you can write a check for $100. So this is the big tip. So once your statement is paid, you will have a credit balance of $95 in your account. And when you make purchases, you will only be charged, I believe, interest for that first day. So you're not waiting 30 days to make a payment. So you're going to be saving money down the line doing it this way. So this is an interesting way of avoiding interest with Credit One credit cards. They probably don't want you to know this, <laughs> but that's why I'm here. My job is to help save you money. All right, I talked about the credit card maintenance fees and you probably are going to ask, can you get those waived? Um, in a way you can. What you need to do, if you have on-time payment history, you need to call and ask for that. And they'll look at your account. They might look at your credit score and they might be able to work with you. But these fees that are removed or these maintenance fees, they're only going to be stopped for a short period of time. It could be three months, six months. It's not like when you call that you're going to have these fees removed from your account permanently or um, for 12 months. This is going to be a short period of time. So in a way you're going to have to keep calling and asking to have them removed. So this is a way of keeping your account open longer so that you can build that positive credit history a little bit longer. An extra three months or six months can be beneficial to your credit score. So this is one strategy you can use. And then ultimately the purpose of this card is to help you build credit and if you're being charged a lot of fees, you can always cancel and move on to other cards that have lower fees or no fees at all. Again, they probably don't want me to tell you about this, but my job is to help you and not any bank. So by now you should know whether the Credit One Bank American Express card is right for you or not. If you still want to compare other credit cards or learn more on how you can build your credit score faster, check out these videos here. Don't forget to like this video. And if you want to see my newest videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Until next time.